Gordon, how many times did you beat Stefan before? Uh, quite a few times. I think the last five or six times I won. Uh, and most of them were indoors, so I was feeling quite confident about the match before we started. I knew it was going to be a difficult match. He's just gone to world number one in the rankings, and he's there for a reason. But uh, I thought I played well, and, and when it really mattered at the end, probably when I played my best tennis. And so what were your key success factors in this match? What did you, what did you think turned the match around? Or what did you think made the decision point? Yeah, I think I had a little bit of a slow start. Uh, just not really feeling relaxed enough to hit, hit through the ball. So I kind of loosened up towards the end of the first set and then the second set I was more aggressive and uh, just you know hit a little bit out of his hitting zone a little bit better. And then at the end I served well under pressure and that was the difference. Hey, and uh, you're here, um, I mean, you've won the doubles a couple of times here in uh, Rotterdam. You never won the singles, so how do you look forward to the final tomorrow? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, obviously, I had a good month in Australia last month, and uh, after today, I'm, I'm feeling good about my tennis. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting on the, the big court tomorrow in front of a good crowd, and uh, hopefully it can be another good match. One more question. What is the, what is the best thing here in Rotterdam? What do you like the most? I think uh, just the the way the people who are watching us get into the matches. Uh, you know, when you had so many people there watching towards the end, and they were really living every point with us, and it makes it more exciting for us, and it, it makes it mean more after you win the match. So, really, the, the way the crowd act, and uh, hopefully, it can be more exciting tomorrow. Yeah.